The year 2011 celebrates the International Year of Chemistry. Here, at the University of KwaZulu-Natal, we function at the cutting edge of international research efforts to solve global problems. Our scientists aim to improve the quality of human life into the future. We would like to share with you three groundbreaking research projects being undertaken by UKZN scientists. The first two involve revolutionary research by our chemists into new drug development. In South Africa, traditional healers have long turned to multi-plant for their healing properties. The potential for natural product developments within South Africa is therefore huge. Researchers at UKZN are investigating a number of indigenous medicinal plants to look at their potential commercial use in treating serious illnesses such as cancer, malaria, HIV AIDS and TB. Sanbonani. I've been in this occupation of trying to find out what the indigenous plants, the multi plants as we call them, contain which can possibly be used uh, for medicinal purposes and so on. And what I've got here in front of me is a collection of new plants which have been described in the literature Sometimes they are part of the indigenous knowledge which we have, and I'm trying to see whether they contain any useful compounds. 
Cancer is a major killer. An estimated 12.7 million cancer cases and 7.6 million cancer-related deaths were reported worldwide in 2008. At the University of Kwazulu Natal, Professor Ordner Monroe and his team of scientists, in collaboration with Outtech Biomed, are involved in groundbreaking research into new metal-based anti-cancer drugs. Anti-cancer drug research at UKZA is the leading drug discovery program the field in South Africa and it is both internationally recognized and of national importance. So we're very hopeful that uh, with time we'll bring about a brand new discovery uh, in the field of cancer um, medicine and we hope to, um, to bring relief to patients who are actually suffering uh, from this um, dread disease. The creation of renewable energy resources is an issue of global importance. South Africa is faced with a high electricity demand. However, most power stations in South Africa rely on coal, oil or natural gas, which increases the amount of carbon dioxide in the air and contributes to global warming and climate change. It is vital that as a country, we invest in greener and more sustainable energy sources. A group of scientists are focusing on developing new and sustainable sources of energy production for South Africa. Their research involves nanotechnology or manipulating matter on an atomic and molecular scale. As the computer revolutionized the last decades of the 20th century, is nanotechnology being hailed as the new breakthrough of the 21st century? Currently, we are using a lot of carbon-based fuels. That's, for example, oil mixed from petroleum or coal, which is common in South Africa. Both in of these cases, they actually uh, non-renewable resources. They quite they can deplete. But apart from that, they're also not very healthy for our environment. We are looking at research of how to actually make carbon nanomaterials which will be used as a part of the solar cells, where carbon nanomaterials have been known to be good conductors or semiconductors for electricity. The International Year of Chemistry aims to increase public appreciation of the role of chemistry in meeting world needs. Innovative research by UKZN scientists continually contributes to international advances in sustainable energy production and dependable medicine. The University of KwaZulu-Natal celebrates chemistry, our life, our future.